Hello, YouTube. Hello, friends. Welcome to Lizzie Payne Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth, and it is Saturday evening, November the 6th, and it is time for me to share with you what I am reading in the month of November. So I have probably started and restarted this video. We're going on like 10 times now, and something always happens, and I don't even remember what I have said and not said in the previous videos. So hopefully I don't repeat myself, and hopefully I don't skip something thinking that I already told you. But anyway, I have had a full day today. I went to a 39-mile yard sale. I only went to two of the four big locations, and it was pretty gray and overcast uh, for most of the day. And now it's evening time, and so that's why it's kind of dark right now. But I am determined not to uh, put this off any longer. In fact, my husband may walk in anytime, so if you hear the dogs barking and all of that in the next few minutes, uh, just know that's what that is. But I have been thinking all week about what my reading goals are for the year and what I can hope to accomplish, you know, what am I going to have to give up and what can I still get done by the end of the year? Because I always start out the year with pretty big aspirations of what I think I can do. And I discovered pretty quickly that it was going to be tough to finish my, um, trilogy challenge. That was where I picked 12 YA and middle grade trilogies that I wanted to try to finish by the end of the year. I have gotten more than half of them done, but several of them are books that I have to read in print. I don't have access to audiobooks for them. They may not even be on audio, some of them, and I am just not going to be able to get those done. I do have a graphic novel trilogy that I want to finish this month, mainly because both of them are going to fit prompts on the Fall Into Reading Challenge. So I want to finish the Kane Chronicle graphic novels. Uh, the original Kane Chronicles, of course, are written by Rick Riordan. I've read all three of those, and I've read the first graphic novel. These are adapted by Orpheus Collar, and I had planned to read these last year, and I didn't get to them. I'm just not fast with reading graphic novels. I'm just not. Some people think, oh, I'll, I need something to read fast. I'll grab a graphic novel. That is not me. But I want to count. I'd have to read at least one to count for the graphic novel prompt on the Fall the Ring Challenge. And then I want to use the other one for Supernatural. So all the rest of the trilogies that I had on that list, I'm not going to get done this year. And I, there's either three or four that I have not done. I'll do a wrap-up video of all, you know, that whole project. I had two other projects that I started at the beginning of the year. One of them I've amended as I go. But I think in the end, uh, it was in my author bench project. And the project was to binge read at least 21 authors. And I had specific 21 picked. Some of those I have put on hold and others I've read that were not on the original list. I think when it's all said and done, I will have finished 21 binge reading 21 authors. So I don't think I will get any of those done this month unless I go ahead and get this third Mary Higgins Clark book done. I had three that my sister gave me. I got two of them done, I think in August or September. And this one, A Stranger is Watching, I still have. I can get this on audio, either on Hoopla or Scribd. So if I can get to that, I will. But even without that, I think I've still got 21 authors that I can count as an author binge for the year. And I'll do a wrap up of that. Now, the one challenge that I set for myself and I opened it up to everyone uh, is the Series About Series Challenge. And the Killing Time with Cozy's group have really taken it and run with it. They want to do it again next year. So if you guys, any of you are watching, I am thinking of some challenges specific to 2022. So there'll be a video coming out hopefully before the end of this month to just announce that project for 2022. Meanwhile, I have a list of 22 series, and I said I wanted to finish at least 21 of those series. One of them got bumped because that newest book is not going to come out till next year, so I can't do it. And one of them I don't really want to finish this year. Uh, it was going to be my extra. And so I've got another series that I'm going to substitute. I've already um, been reading a good bit of that this year. The next one is a Christmas book, so you'll hear more about that in December. Uh, but I think I can finish it, and it's going to be my substitute, so that I will have a list of 21 series that I had already started previous to this year that I am finishing or catching up with this year. But the two 
uh, from that list that I do want to finish this month. Uh, one of them is the Last Survivor series by Susan Beth Pfeffer. This is the last book, The Shade of the Moon. I'm also going to count this for New Worlds November. I'm only doing a couple of readathons for November, and New Worlds November is hosted by uh, Scott and Becky, the Bookish Bryants, and a few other people. I think Steve Donahue is one of the hosts. And their main focus is to read short stories or anthologies that are science fiction. I just can't find, I don't. I can't find the time and I can't find a book that fits that exact criteria. So I'm just going to low-key participate, give them a nod, and this is what's going to have to count for me for New Worlds November. This is more of a future world, not an alien world, but it's the closest thing I've got. I had a couple of other things. Uh, the Randoms trilogy, I thought maybe I would do that. That is definitely sci-fi. takes place on another planet, but I just don't have time to fit it in this year. I, I just don't. So... Um, this will have to suffice. Then another book I had started back in August that's the last book in a trilogy is also on my Serious About Series list. It's the Dixie Trilogy by Lisa Patton. This is book three, Southern as a Second Language. I want to get this done this month or by the end of the year for sure. Really this month I need to go ahead and finish that because I've got... Uh, everything else that's left on that list has something Christmas related as one of the last one or two books. So there's like maybe four or five other series on my list. And I've got a few novellas that are Christmas novellas and things like that. Um, or just Christmas themed books. So um, those you'll hear about in my December TBR. Which I don't think I'll wait till December the 6th to do my December TBR. I'll get it done sooner. And uh, as well as, you know, hopefully some of my goals for next year and things like that. Okay, so um, let me just go through my list. Uh, well, okay, let's just talk about the readathons first. So I'm going to finish the Fall into Reading Challenge. I've got eight left to do. I had only finished seven in October. The one that I started that didn't that I didn't finish, I have actually finished now. So this is the eighth one or the sixteenth challenge for the Fall into Reading Challenge. This is The Secret Keeper by Kate Morton. I finished this up today, and I have to say, this has really super high, um, I don't know how super high the reviews are. I forgot to even look at the average, but some of my Goodreads friends have read it and, um, and talked about how much they really enjoyed it. I did not love it. I thought it really dragged through most of the book, and I did not enjoy the reading experience of it. However, there's a pretty good twist that really does go a long way to redeeming the book. I still overall didn't think it was as good as The Forgotten Garden. And those are the only two Kate Morton books now that I've read. But, um, you know, not bad. The twist was pre a pretty good one. And it did redeem a lot of the dragginess that you had to get through to get there. So I'll just say that. This is all to, also one of my round three booktube spin books. I ended up with four books because I had two different lists and then he did two spins. So now this is the second book that I have finished for the booktube spin and it's going to count for the fall into reading challenge as well. Um, let's see. I'm trying to make this as quick as I can because if you've noticed my last two videos, the audio cut off at the end and that's because I think it's because that when the editing app that I use updated recently, it's got some glitches. And when I go to update or when I go to um, to put clips together and I'm listening back through it, the audio doesn't mesh up with the picture. And then at the end, the audio just went off completely in the last two videos. The first time it happened, I thought it was something I did. And then it happened again, and I knew it wasn't it wasn't me. So in order to avoid that, I've got to keep this video under 25 minutes so that it doesn't, you know, stop and start a new video. And um, that way I can just upload this directly to YouTube and bypass that software or that app. Okay, Newberry Winners. I'm not going to do a whole lot of Newberry Winners. I'm not going to be able to finish the whole Newberry project before the next one's announced. I already know that. But I've got the first two books from the 1940s, and I would like to read these. I can get this on audio, and it's super short. The Matchlock Gun by Walter D. Edmonds. I just bought this. You probably saw this if you watched my last haul. I found this at the big Gainesville Library book sale. And then I checked this out from the library, Daniel Boone by James Doherty. I want to count this on the Fall into Reading Challenge for a classic because I don't have time to read a big classic, so it's going to have to be a children's classic. And then my next project, I usually just go down my list of my 
projects for the year. The next thing on my list, and they're like not in any certain order, but that's just how I wrote them down. Sunshine State Books. I had said that I probably wasn't going to read all of them, but when I was at the Bookmobile a couple of days ago or a couple of weeks ago, I don't even know when it was, um, the Bookmobile librarian, Jeff, who y'all have met if you've seen uh, any of the vlogs there, he was saying that these 6th to 8th grade Sunshine State Books have not been getting checked out as much as the third to fifth grade. And I was like, well, it's probably because I haven't been checking them out, you know, like I normally would. So I decided to go ahead and check out four of the books that are on audio on overdrive and see how many I can get done. So the one I'm going to make the highest priority is going to count for the following reading challenge. There's a prompt to read a book by an author of color. So I'm going to count uh, Clean Getaway by Nick Stone, and that one will definitely get done. I also checked out The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl by Stacey McAnulty. This one got quite a few votes when I did that video about, you know, you guys help me figure out which ones I should read. And also this one got a few votes, Me and Banksy by Tanya Lloyd Kai. And then I also picked this one out because... It's written in verse. It's not going to be super long. Becoming Muhammad Ali by James Patterson and Kwame Alexander. I really enjoyed The Crossover, which is a Newberry winner by Kwame Alexander. And I think I will enjoy that one as well. So that's Sunshine State Books. Um, I already... Did I already mention the Author Binge Project? So I... Probably not going to binge any authors this month unless I finish this one. Um, and I may not do any next month. But I think, I think I'll have enough uh, to you know, call that project done. Um, the next one is Booktube Spin, which I kind of already mentioned. I finished the second book. I'm currently reading, <laughs> you guys have seen this so many times, uh, currently reading Pigtopia by Kitty Fitzgerald. I will finish that, but I might have to put this last one on hold. I've got a couple of Christmas books for round four, and this would be the last one for round three, and I don't have access to it on audio. I don't even know if it is on audio. I've got it here in my stack, but there's honestly quite a few other things that are going to take precedence over it. But I will get it read eventually. I just may not get it read this year. And then, um, Serious About Series. Now, see, I'm starting to get mixed up of what I've already shown you in this video and what I've shown you in the numerous other false starts. Did I, I? I did show you these. So, yeah. For Serious About Series, that's the main thing that I want to finish. Of the th three challenges that I set out to do this year, Serious About Series, the 21, list of 21, those are the ones that I'm doing. So I think I already showed you this and the uh, Lisa Patton trilogy. Um, I don't even know what to do with it now. Okay. If I didn't, I'm sorry. There'll be... Oh, yeah, it's over here. So I did show you. Okay. Um... Finish the stackmas tree. <laughs> so most of what's left on my stackmas tree are actually Christmas books. But I keep pushing this one back. I really want to get this read this year. If I don't finish the stackmas tree, I at least want to finish one more book from it. This is the uh, A New Leaf by Thomas Kincaid and Catherine Spencer. It's book four in the Cape Light series. I wish those were on audio. I really do. Um, TBR Jar. Okay, so... TBR jar, mostly what I draw out of my TBR jar are nonfiction books. And uh, I may or may not get to any of those in November for nonfiction November. But the one I am definitely going to read that is going to count for at least three of the four prompts is this one, Before and After by Judy Christie and Lisa Wingate. This is one of uh, my book club books for this month. And I don't need to have it read until the... Thursday before Thanksgiving. So I need to get started on it here pretty soon. This is a true stories from the adults who were children that were part of the Georgia Tan Tennessee Children Home, Children's Home um, child trafficking scandal. So I think that sounds super interesting. The other book club book, we had to meet early and because of that, uh, it was because of Veterans Day and nobody got the book finished. I didn't even get it finished. It was our mystery book club and um, half the people couldn't even come because it was the wrong week and it was just a mess. But what I was supposed to have read, I'm still working on The Golden One by Elizabeth Peters. This is book 14 in the Amelia Peabody series. I finished the seventh book and then skipped on over to this one to try to get it done in time for a book club, but I didn't leave myself enough time. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And then if I read any more of this series, I'm going to go back and pick up the ones that I skipped. So I think I will, but I'm a little burnt out on it now because I tried to read so many, you know, in a short amount of time. And I 
have been in the mood to kind of binge read some series, but you can only do that so much, and then you need a bit of a break, and I do need a bit of a break from this one. Even though I'm enjoying them, I just, I do need a bit of a break. Okay, um, going down my list. Okay, so I was talking about nonfiction. So, I have one here that I did, um, pull from my last TBR jar draw that could count for style because this is about a style of discipline. This is Dare to Discipline by James Dobson. This is an old 1970s version. You know, I don't really need to read it. My kids are grown. They're doing great. But, um, uh, I mean, well, Emily, you know, she's doing great as far as, as far as she can. She's here with me. But, uh, anyway, I still, you know, it was in my, in my stack of things that I picked up along my life at some point, and I would like to read it. And it does talk about a style of discipline. If I don't get to that, I've got a couple of dietary books. These talk about a style of eating. So can you tell, I'm trying to find something that I can fit for that last prompt. I don't even remember what the other three prompts were, but I know that before and after will count for all three except for style. Uh, I have these two books by Don Colbert. Maybe I can read this little tiny one. This is The Bible Cure for Weight Loss and Muscle Gain, and then this is What Would Jesus Eat? This is less than 200 pages. I ought to be able to read this, except that I don't want to take anything away from the stuff I've already started that I really want to finish. Uh, I do have another really short one, though. Um, this would probably take me a half an hour to read. It's been floating around my shelves for a long time, and I really want to read it. I think uh, Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books sent me this in uh, in with a group of other books a, a couple years ago. This is Weird Things Customers Say in Bookshops by Jen Campbell, who is also a booktuber, and um, this sounds really fun, and I'm looking forward to reading it. So, uh, so anyway, I will read a few nonfiction books, or at least a couple, and... Um, call it done for nonfiction November. I read nonfiction all year, so it's not like I need a prompt to get me to read nonfiction. I read it all the time. Uh, not as many as fiction, but still, you know, I, I read a fairly decent amount. Oh, one other nonfiction book I've been working on all year. This is The Declutter Challenge by Cassandra Arson. I'm about half done with this now. I sort of go in fits and spurts with it, and uh, I have picked it back up recently, and I've been working through. It's a workbook type thing that you write in, and uh, it, it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. Okay, um, so I'm already losing track of what I've told you and what I haven't. Um, I did, I mention I did mention book clubs. Um, okay, Mitford. So I have had two big Mitford books on my currently reading list all year. I only ever read some of them I read some out of both of them in January, and then they've just been sitting in my shelf in the living room all year long. I may have picked up one and read a page in February, but since then, I have not. So, I am determined to get at least one of the two of these read. The other one is a cookbook, and it's still in there. I didn't bring it in here, but this is the Midford Bedside Companion. I wanted to go ahead and read these anyway, but when uh, Kate Howe announced that she was doing a read-along of all the Mitford books, I thought, well, I'm not ready to reread those right now, but I do want to read this. So I picked this up um, the last couple of mornings after I did my Bible reading and my devotional, because these are so inspirational, and I just read a few pages. I started over, I read a few pages, and I want to read this this month. It's so wonderful. Just absolutely fantastic. Um, it not only has excerpts from... Uh, most of the first, I think, nine books. Um, but it also has some essays written by Dan Karen, And uh, it's just wonderful. So, there's that. Um, then, I don't have any buddy reads this month. I do have one for December, so I'll talk about that in another video in my December TBR. Um, so, just to recap my, my three big challenges. I will not finish the middle grade trilogy challenge, but I am going to finish, this is the last trilogy that I'm going to read, this graphic novel trilogy. Uh, I will not get exactly all 21 of the authors binged that I was going to, but I think when it's all said and done, there will be 21 authors that I have read at least three books by at some point during the year. So that's going to kind of be my finish goal for that. And then I am planning still to finish or catch up with all 21 or with 21 of the series on my list of 22, I did make one substitution, and um, a lot of those are, are Christmas books. So the two I'm finishing this month, I've already shown you. Okay, so I have a few other things here that are just possibilities, you know, in my pile of possibilities. 
Uh, for December Book Club, we are reading the Christmas book, which is book five in the Irish Village series by Carleen O'Connor. I've read book one, and I've already started book two, which is Murder at an Irish Wedding. I have book three here, Murder in an Irish Courtyard. I can't remember the title of book four. And then book five is Murder in a at an Irish Christmas or something like that. So I'd like to read these two and the next one this month. And when I say read, I mean listen to an audio. They're on Hoopla. So that I, or at least these two, and then I'll have the other two to listen to in December. That is my goal. Um, a few other books that would finish up series for me that are not on my list of 21, but um, I still wouldn't mind getting to them if I have time that I can get on audio. The Cottage on Lighthouse Lane is the uh, fifth and final book in the Miramar Bay series by Davis Bunn. I have that. Uh, Home to Big Stone Gap is the fourth and final book in the Big Stone Gap series by Adriana Trigiani. I'm also going to go ahead and pick up book two in her Valentine series. I've got it ordered on a CD from my library. That's going to count as my romance book for the Fall into Reading Challenge. And then I listened to the first book called Dead City in the Dead City Trilogy by James Ponty last month. And the next two are also on Hoopla, so I might go ahead and pick those up. Um, I'm counting this one for thriller slash horror on the Fall of the Reading Challenge. And if I can get to another one, I will. This is a series I've been working on since my 20 by 20 challenge, and I noticed that they're all on audio on Scribd. This is the Charlie Joe Jackson's Guide to Not Reading by Tommy Greenwald, and uh, I would love to get a couple more of these done, uh, possibly finish it. And I keep saying, I keep waffling on whether I'm going to finish the Beach House trilogy, or tr trilogy, the Beach House series this year or save it for next year. It's on my 20 by 20 challenge, but I've sort of made a substitution that will work just fine. So, I don't know. Uh, this is the one I've already done. Uh, I've already finished this one on Ocean Boulevard. But there's one more that's book seven. This is book six. Book seven, uh, I could get on audio CD in my car. I like to have something on CD for my car. So, if I finish the other Valentine trilogy and I still just need something in my car to listen to before the end of the year, I might pick this up. But on the other hand, they're really summertime books. So... <laughs> That's why I keep going back and forth. I really want to have it done and finished and check it off my list. But they're summertime books. I should keep that for the summer. So I don't know. All right. I hope I've shown you everything. I'm going to have to sign off because um, I don't want to go over and have to try to edit this video and then have the audio go out or whatever. I think I've shown you everything that I have in here uh, except... Uh, this is another possibility. This was the... Now my battery's running low. I will have to stop soon. This was the series, the fiction series I drew out of my TBR jar. So I've got these on the back burner if I have any audio time and I want to pick up the Hope Street Church series by Jennifer Stanley. And that's a pseudonym. Her other... She's got another name, but I always get it mixed up with another cozy mystery author, so I'm not even going to say it because I'll say the wrong one. Anyway, um, I have the first three of these. So I've got plenty to read and I've got plenty of challenges to try to check off. <laughs> you guys know I'm a finisher. It bugs me if I can't finish something, but I've had to come to terms with the fact that I'm not going to get it all done and uh, I'm just going to enjoy what I do get done. Oh, I do know what I didn't show you. Um, I don't think I did anyway. Uh, two things. The Killing Time with Cozies Club are reading the Kebab Kitchen series and now we are on this one, On the Lamb book four. So again, another book I have to read in print. So I've been behind this whole time. And if I can't catch up this time, I'm just going to probably going to give up right now. I'll finish the series because I'm enjoying it. I think I'm enjoying it more, more than some of the other people. But anyway, uh, I'm going to make an attempt to do this. But the reason I can't really do it right now, and I can't show you this cover, but I'm copy editing uh, Jack Castle's newest book called Stranger Dream. And I've got to get this done uh, ASAP. I'm only on page 75 and I need to have it done, um, you know, like ASAP. So uh, that's what I am really working on in my extra print reading time, not extra time. I'm making time for that because that's a job and uh, I need to get that done. So anyway, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.